Hi guys, this is Lexi here from Tutorial QTXOX. Today in GIMP I'm going to be showing you three ways to change lip colour. I know I kind of already did this in the makeup tutorial, but this is a completely separate one going into much more detail. Um, I'm using a picture of Angelina Jolie. I'm going to show you the three ways. Two of them are really, really similar, but um, they're just like, I'll show you two different ways to perform them. So um, one way that I did in the um, makeup tutorial was I went... Um, and I did layer, new layer, make sure it's transparent. Click on that and go into the brushes tool and click a color that you like. I'm going to choose this pink right here. And what you're going to do is choose a fuzzy brush and just kind of paint over the entire lip area. It's okay if you go over the edge like I'm doing right now because you'll just end up cleaning it up and erasing it later. Um, so just kind of do like a rough painting over the lips and then what you're going to do is go into layers and click um, multiply, overlay, whatever color you like, burn, soft light, dodge. Um, I like multiply right here, I think that looks really nice. So what you're going to do then is um, just zoom in a bit and make sure the eraser tools clicked on with the fussy brush and just start erasing the areas that are not the lips that have color. Like right there, um, obviously take more time than I am right now. Just kind of messed up right there, but it's okay. Um, if you mess up, you can always go back into the paintbrush tool and kind of paint over the color again. But um, yeah, so that's basically how you do this. I think it looks really nice. You don't have to choose um, multiply for your effect. You can choose overlay, um, dodge, burn, whatever you like that looks good. Okay, I definitely missed some right here. So I'm going to go back into the paintbrush tool and just paint over that, make this smaller, and just paint this on again. just so it's not my stuff. I want to make this look perfect. Obviously it's not going to be because I'm not taking enough time with this, but you know, you get the effect. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So then when you have it, zoom back out. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because um, when you're zoomed back out, your mistakes will be less noticeable, but um, I really like this. I think that looks quite nice. Um, so um, another way to do this, let me just um, erase all my work that I just did. Okay, is um, Zoom in the lips quite a lot. I'm going to zoom in by 200%. And it depends um, for your lips. And just start going around with the pass tool. And obviously take more time than I am. I'm just kind of doing a makeshift selection right here. Um, if you just want to practice um, changing lip color or colorizing, I recommend Angelina Jolie's lips because they're very full. That's who I'm using today is Angelina. So... Um, once you have your selection, you're going to click Selection from Path, and you'll see the running line. Now what you can do is you have a couple options. You can go into Colors, Color Balance, drag around the sliders, and you'll see it changes to, like, this, um, whatever color you can make it. You can make it, like, orange, green, this orangey color I have right here. I like that. That looks really nice. Um, another thing you can do is you can go into, um, Colors, Hue and Saturation, and um, let me move this over so you can see drag around this slider obviously this is for like a more unnatural color like a purple a blue a pink um, I'm gonna go with a purple and um, you can do that that looks quite nice and then one last option you have is to go into colors and click colorize and drag around this slider Ooh, that looks pretty good um, drag it around until you find a color you like uh, I like this pink right here and then click OK. And then once you have the color you like for either one, you can use color balance if you like that better. Use saturation or colorize. Once you have the color you like, you click selected none and you'll see the lips are filled in quite nicely. That actually works really good. Um, one last way to do this, it's basically the same thing. Um, you don't need any selection. What you're going to do is go into the layers tab and duplicate the layer. Click layer, duplicate layer. And make sure the top one's selected and click layer and click... Um, Actually, what you're going to do is click the bottom layer right here, pasted layer, not the copy, but the pasted layer. And go into colors, either color balance, hue, saturation, or colorize. I'll choose colorize. And um, 
just drag around a random color you'll see right here you can't tell until you click OK um, if you want to be able to tell you can click the eye off on this one so you can tell and then go into colorize and drag it around if you would like I'll choose this pink right here choose whatever color you want for the lips actually you know what I think I'll be eccentric and choose like a blue so once you have that click OK and then click the eye on this so you can see the top layer now what you want to do is click on the top layer make sure pasted layer copy is selected and make sure the eye is on right here go into layer mask and click our layer mask and make sure white full opacity is selected now you have this layer mask right here and what you're going to do is since this is white you're going to go into the paintbrush tool make sure your foreground color is black you need it to be black and what you're going to do is make the brush a little bit bigger and start um, painting over the lip area and you'll see it changes to this blue because on your layers tab um, you're pretty much erasing the white mask around this area so you can have the blue this is basically the same thing as colorize um, if you um, do the selection around the lips and then go into colorize it's exactly the same thing um, you can just um, do this if you want it's faster and then go with the eraser tool and erase around the lips if you want which is what I'm going to do go into the eraser and then just kind of erase where you got over the edge whatever um, I'm not going to take too much time with this I think it's a lot easier to do this um, pass tool and then go into colorize rather than adding the layer mask this is just another way to do this if you want to but I think this is actually a lot more challenging to remember so I like doing the um, other method better I kind of miss some of the lips but whatever you get the you get the point um, yeah you just choose whatever color you want this is just another way to do this I actually like the selection better I like doing the other way better where it was like this and you go into colors colorize and then drag it around because I think it's a lot easier than doing the layer mask but that's just another way to do it so once you have that again um, that's just the three ways to change lip color and I think all of them work pretty well but um, that's basically it so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and request